by their rules anymore. Hey folks, in the following video I was using my EMF 390 multi-field electromagnetic radiation detector. If you'd like one, you can click on the link in the description. Visit our Amazon store. Also, anything else that you buy on Amazon, when you go through our link, you'll be supporting our channel. Looks like the price went down a little bit on the EMF 390 as well. All right, God bless you folks. Take care, enjoy the video. We'll talk to you soon. This is my EMF 390. It can do EF, EMF, RF, and just an EF, electrical field reading. Now, I'm gonna put this against the wall, and you can see I'm getting a reading of close to 800. That's extreme, that's dangerous. It's an electrical field that's being read from inside the wall that is almost 800. So we're thinking that might be faulty wiring. Okay, this is our, this is our bedroom wall. This wall is where our, uh, the head of our bed is. I'm gonna take a reading over here. I'm gonna come down here because this is the way you have to hold it because the sensors are here on on this end of the EMF 390. I'm 600. I'm telling you earlier, uh, a couple of days ago, before I'm gonna show you the remediation that I did, it's temporary. I was getting an 800 here as well. Now, here's what I've done so far to remediate this. Remember, this is just proof of concept. I wanna show you what my reading is here. Zero. Are you getting it? Okay. All right. We've got a we've got a zero right now. Electrical field zero. We went from five, six, eight hundred to a zero with the remediation that I did. Now what did I do? I ran I ran aluminum foil on the wall where the bed was, the, the head of the bed. I did it, I think three layers, Angie. Angie and I did three layers. And then I took speaker wire, I cut the, the uh, plastic, uh, the coating from the speaker wire, probably about this much, and I lined it up on the aluminum foil, I taped it, remember this is just temporary folks, so I taped, taped it, one, you know, and I spread them out a little bit, so here's one, and then there's another one going up this way, and it basically I have eliminated the electric field coming out of this wall. Once again, I think that we've proven that this is a grounding issue. Very, very, once again, very dangerous levels of electric field coming out of these walls. And this was at the head of our bed. So I moved the head of our bed out from the wall about 10 inches. Now, I'm gonna show you this later. Angie and I, uh, she'll walk out with me later. But these wires are running out to a, uh, a ground pipe. Right, folks, this is what I was talking about. I had these uh, speaker wires, these copper speaker wires, run out uh, across the floor, out of the office, my our office, down into a copper pipe. I also have another lead over here going to uh, to uh, copper water lines that run underneath the foundation. What I'm told is on these old units and old houses. A lot of times they used the copper plumbing as a so ground. This is just a quick remediation. If anybody gets a reading like this at the head of your bed or any wall that you don't want, uh, that you're going to be subjected to for long periods of time, this is something that uh, quick that you can do. Now, eventually we're, we're going to work on something that looks a lot nicer than this. But if you are if you're like us and you live in an apartment complex. And you try, you try to tell your, the manager or the owner of the apartment complex about this, they're not going to understand this. Probably it's going to be a liabilities uh, uh, thing too. So they're not even going to want to even admit that there's anything wrong with this. But because of the Bioinitiative 2012 report, we know that this is very, very bad, very dangerous. Uh, and it needs to be remediated. And, uh, and if you can't get it done... Uh, through your complex, then this is something that you can do while you're fighting them to safeguard your home. 